Welcome to 3D Printing Industry News, brought to you by 3D Systems. There is an obvious demand for the ability to 3D print whatever you want from wherever you want as numerous options for wireless cloud 3D printing present themselves. Now a new cloud-based 3D printing solution has launched on Kickstarter and exceeded its goal in 24 hours that hopes to be the best option in the market. AstroPrint is a combination hardware and software package that allows users to operate their 3D printer from their smart devices. Launched by the team behind 3D model repository 3D Agogo, AstroPrint comes in two parts. The Astro Box is a PC Duino V2 and PC Duino 3S that is connected to your 3D printer via USB and in turn connects your printer to the web. Astroprint.com is a web platform that can slice, store and retrieve, organize and print your 3D files. Astrobox creates its own local Wi-Fi network so that in the case that your internet goes down, your printer will keep going. Normally, astroprint.com will offer two membership packages. The basic plan is free and you get 10 gigabytes of storage to print from one printer over your local network. The pro plan will cost $10 a month after the campaign and expands your data storage to 50 gigabytes for unlimited printers to print via the cloud or your local network. Though the box will eventually retail for $149, you can purchase the Astro Box pre-assembled with a Pro AstroPrint membership. By November, AstroPrint hopes to have fulfilled all of their backers. For those who don't want to assemble their own Wi-Fi option for their 3D printer, the Astro Box appears to be a pretty affordable way to have one pre-made. Hi guys, my name is Daniel. I'm the tech guy behind the AstroPrint service and the Astro Box. And we wanted to make this video because we wanted to share with you some of the tech details of creating these services. And uh, we realized that not everybody needs to hear this. I mean, we make this product to be non-technical, really simple to use with an amazing out-of-the-box experience. But if you are inclined to know what's inside, how it was made and what is it made of, then I invite you to come along and watch me on this video. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is our decision to use uh, PC Duino 2 versus Raspberry Pi. And uh, for that, I'd like to start by showing you our first prototype of the Astro Box. This is based on a Raspberry Pi board, as you can see here. And the first thing you'll notice is, is it made for a really awkward box design because there's all these things sticking out. First thing is Wi-Fi module. We couldn't actually use an inbuilt Wi-Fi module because the board didn't have one, so we had to uh, add a USB one. Also the SD card is kind of awkwardly sticking out of the box and there's a bunch of things here that are not used for our use case but they still are part of the board. So you know it didn't really match our design expectations and in addition to that um, the board seems to be like one or two generations old in terms of computing. It uses a 750 megahertz processor, it has 512 megabytes of memory, and it's an ARM v6 architecture, which basically means you're not really future-proof. So with that in mind, we decided to go and search for other alternatives, and we came across the PC Duino 2. PC Duino 2 is an ARM v7 architecture based on, on a Cortex A8 chip with a 1 gigahertz processor and 1 gigabyte of memory. This board has a built-in Wi-Fi, which allowed us to make this really cool-looking box with nothing sticking out, and a really, really good use of power. Um, another problem with the Raspberry Pi was that if you have a 1,000 milliamp uh, power supply, the Wi-Fi module could actually suffer. In some cases, we degrade network performance. In extreme cases, would actually stop um, the board altogether. With this, there is uh, a 2,000 milliamp uh, power supply that comes with the box, and it allows for awesome network performance and a very, very fast computing platform. Being an RV7 architecture allows us for future-proofing uh, our, our software, which means we'll be able to add new versions of Ubuntu as they come along and take advantage of some of the new features that will come uh, with them. So all in all, we're really happy with our decision. This is a very, very fast computing platform. It has um, four gigabytes of memory uh, built in. 
as well a, a 8 gigabyte uh, MMC card that was shipped with. So as far as the software stack on the AstroBox, uh, we run on Linux Ubuntu 12 and what we've built is a heavily modified version of Octoprint. And Octoprint, as you may know, is a Python web server that uses a server code to talk to the printer through USB and also to serve web pages uh, to a computer. So we modified the UI to make, it to make it really beautiful, easy to use, and mobile friendly interface as well as we connect it to our AstroPrint service to allow for super fast class slicing and uh, design files, uh, storage, and organization of your GCode file as well. So let me talk a little bit about the AstroPrint service. AstroPrint run an Amazon Web Services server farm using high CPU instances. We have put Slicer on the cloud on a very fast CPU computer that can take the thread feature of Slicer and basically take a slicing job and split it into different parts and run them in parallel. That allows you to, to have very complex uh, models slice in a very, very short amount of time. In addition to that, we take the GCO files and put them on an S3 bucket with some metadata. For example, what settings did you use? What printer was it for? For what filament? and what quality did you want to print that on. This allows you to then go back and check for each design file which decodes you have already generated so that you don't have to slice them again. For example, you can go back and say, I want for my octopus, I want to take the file that was generated for my Airwolf 3D for PLA in high quality. You can then retrieve that and print it right away. One of the things we really wanted to do um, was to make a really good out-of-the-box experience. When the box first boots up, it's going to create its own Wi-Fi network so that you can then, using your phone, configure it to talk to your home or office Wi-Fi. After that, the box will just become another computer in your network that you can access through its web address, which by default will be astrobox.local, but you can also change that. Once you have it connected to your network, you can then access your box from anywhere in your network, in any device, with a simple web browser. The box will then talk to our AstroPrint service and allow you to slice and retrieve your previously sliced files, as well as allow you to talk to the box from anywhere outside of your local network. Anywhere on the internet, you will be able to talk to your box once it's connected to your home Wi-Fi. This will allow you to see the progress of a print that you can then stop, pause, resume, change settings on the fly or any of the other things you could do from your local network. The software that goes in the AstroBox is open source and we're really hoping that you guys contribute. You can request features, you can fix bugs, or you can improve it. We're really looking forward to working with you on this. And we feel that this is what the 3D printing industry right now needs to make 3D printing really awesome and work for everybody. Thank you so much for listening and we hope you enjoy your AstroBox. And now what I'm going to do is what every good coder does. I'm going to turn beer into code. Thanks for watching 3D Printing Industry News TV, brought to you by 3D Systems.